Fiscal policy is the deliberate changes in government spending and taxation policy in order to bring about changes in the economy, to bring about the desired changes. It's intentionally intervening in the economy. So there's two parts to fiscal policy. The government has two choices when they use the medicine of fiscal policy. They can change government spending or they can change taxes. The word fiscal um, is usually used in reference to budget. And a budget, anybody's budget, has to do with you get a certain amount coming in and of that that comes in, where are you going to spend it, right? The balance between income and spending. Well, for the government, their fiscal budget consists of tax revenue, the taxes that come in to them, and then where they're going to spend it. So each year, fiscal policy is decided upon when they create a budget, when the president and the Congress creates a budget, which has been an enormous problem in the United States this year, if you've been following politics to try to come up with some uh, compromise between the Democrats and the Republicans was very difficult this year because Republicans were saying, we don't want to have a lot of government spending and intervention, and we don't want the government taxing us. And, in, and then the Democrats were saying, no, we need it. We're still in a sick economy. We want fiscal policy in place, and we want <clears throat> to see that supported. So. All right, so in this equation, C plus IG plus G plus XN equals AD, the way that the government can shift the AD curve in the direction they want it to go to reach potential GDP, they do it by either changing the G part, the government spending part, or they do it by changing the C part, the consumption part, by changing personal income taxes. If you remember that taxes, the um, do it Taxes was the T part. So if you change household taxes, you can change their spending habits. Got it? Can you see? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yeah, it was it was a student that I had last year record something for that slide, but it was the oh, I think it was um, Tiago, yeah, <laughs> um, and then I think I think it was Tiago. In any case, it, he's saying here. Let me turn the sound off. But he's saying like. Because I, I tell students that they can remember fiscal policy as opposed to monetary policy because, like, fis, fiscal policy, and on one hand is taxes, and on the other hand is spending, taxing spending to knock out problems, right? All right. Okay. Expansionary policy, expansionary fiscal policy means they are going to increase aggregate demand. Expansionary fiscal policy means an intentional attempt to increase aggregate demand, to expand aggregate demand, shift it to the right. And the appropriate time to use expansionary policy is when they're in the, the economy is in the problem of recession. So if they were in a recession, if the economy is in a recession where aggregate supply intersects aggregate demand, and notice that I'm not drawing in the horizontal and vertical parts anymore, you don't have to do that anymore. In fact, I recommend for clarity of your um, essays from now on, just get rid of those. And now you can just draw an X. And where they intersect determines where the economy is operating at. And because long run aggregate supply falls at potential, you know here that the intersection falling to the left of that means they're in a recession. 
they're achieving less than potential GDP. If that's the case, and you want to get aggregate demand to increase, what would the government do to spending? Increase. Excellent. What would they do to personal income taxes? Lower them. So those are the choices. You can increase government spending or decrease personal income taxes. When you decrease household taxes, then you can encourage them to spend more. Those are your two choices. Or actually, you have three choices. The government has three choices because they can increase spending or they could decrease taxes or they could do a combination of it. So because doing either of these would increase the G part or the C part, that would cause aggregate demand to shift to the right, <coughs> increase aggregate demand. And hopefully um, calculate it correctly so that you hit potential GDP and don't put the economy into overdrive into demand pull inflation. <laughs> don't push them too far, right? So... It's tough to accurately calculate how much spending to do or how much cuts in taxes to do. We'll look at a, a method that scientifically tries to do it, but it doesn't always work because the economy is an open jar. It's not a controlled environment. People come along and they send planes to destroy your trade center. <laughs> and it suddenly doesn't work. Yeah. Into demand pull inflation. There, by definition, they would have gone into demand pull inflation only because um, the prices increased compared to the last year, the previous year. But whether they went into like excessive amounts of inflation, no. We talk about inflation occurring in the 50s once the soldiers came home. And there was suddenly a bunch of um, baby making and therefore a lot of house buying and, and appliance buying and <laughs> all kinds of buying that was going on. Yeah. <laughs> um, contractionary policy is most appropriately used in a demand pull inflation situation. In, the, in a demand pull situation, the aggregate demand curve has exceeded the point where it would intersect at potential GDP, it's gotten like out of control. We love to buy, 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 buy. And you want to rein in that spending. You want to pull aggregate demand back again. And so you would decrease government spending or do what to taxes? De or increase them, sorry. <laughs> or you would increase them or do a combination of the two. And this would decrease the G component or the C component, or both if you use a combination, and therefore decrease the total spending. So aggregate demand would decrease and hopefully hit the target of intersecting short-run aggregate supply again at potential GDP to lead to a star economy. <laughs> 